everyone. Hello everyone on Instagram, everyone following my page, I am what I art. I am Fadwa Al Qasim and I am Palestinian. Um, as you know from watching my, uh, following my page on Instagram and on Facebook, I have uh, started a project which I'm calling Journal for Gaza. This journal is about creating a documented record of the people dying in Gaza um, and keeping this record through knitting, through crochet. Um, the journal will be one meter 50 centimeters by 80 centimeters and it will be made of crochet and knitting and um, the yarns will be color coded the pages will be color coded with yarns to represent with colors of yarns to represent the different ages and genders of people who have died um, i plan for this to be a very big art installation and i'm planning for it to take place in England, Spain, and maybe America, maybe other countries, I don't know. At the moment, I'm still in the early stages. I currently have about 15 people interested in participating in this project. I have set up a special email and a special page on my website, fadwa.com, to uh, update participants and those who are thinking about joining uh, about this project. Um, I am currently working on the first page, which is going to be brown. And I will be talking about, uh, on my page, I will be sharing with you the details about the ages, the colors that we want to use, the size and everything else. So um, the journal, which will be made of fabric, so it's a fiber art, uh, fiber arts journal art installation each page will represent 200 people and it will be set on the ground so it's going to be huge one meter 50 by 80 centimeters and it will be a visual representation of the horror that is happening now and people will be able to turn the pages and see how big how big this catastrophe is um, I have people from the United Kingdom and people from France, people from the UAE and people from Spain joining. Uh, last week I was invited to Waldorf School in Valencia in a town called El Puig de Santa Maria. I hope I said this correctly. Uh, I spoke to the children and to the professors, the teachers there. Um, I was amazed at how the children reacted. I was amazed with the school itself and their interest in, in participating in this project. I was amazed by the questions that these young people asked. So I, I, made, I made a presentation to three different classes. Uh, the ages, vary, ages varied between 9 to 11, 12, 13, 14, and then uh, above 16, I think there were 15, maybe, sorry, 15, 16, 17. So the young children asked me, why is this happening? They asked me, what can we do to stop the war? They asked me how, where I'm going to do this? How are they, how can they participate? Where can they send the, the um, pages that they will create? Can they work with friends? Can they work in little pieces? They asked me about the children and how many children died. They asked me um, the children who survive, will they grow up to be soldiers? Um, very smart kids. And when I finished, uh, many of them came up and hugged me, which I thought was amazing, amazing. Uh, I'm living in a place in a country where there are people who want to do something, even the children. 
So, um, the pages, like I said, the pages are going to be 150 by 80 centimeters. So this is about 80 centimeters long, uh, sorry, wide, and it's going to be 150 centimeters long. And I will be joining all these pages together wherever the exhibition will take place. I am now looking to find uh, art galleries and talking to people. If anyone, anybody watching knows uh, of an art gallery who might be interested in such a political um, art piece, art installation, please get in touch. And if anybody wants to participate and contribute by working with me on this project, please get in touch. Um, so I will be joining all these pages together at the art gallery itself. And for the moment, I intend to use a fishing rope because fishing is very important in Gaza. Uh, I will be attaching the names of the people that have been reported by the Palestinian Health Authority at the moment. I only have about 7,000 or just under names, but so far 20, 26,000 people have perished. So I will start with the 7,000 that I have, and then we'll grow the journal as we go along. I will attach the names to each page, and at the end of the installation, the journal will be taken apart, and um, the pages will actually become blankets for children. If the war has ended before, I hope, I hope um, before this, this installation takes place or before it's over and we are able to send these blankets to Gaza, that would be amazing. Uh, but for the sake of transparency, for people who, who want to contribute and participate, if I am not able for some reason to send them to Gaza, either I will hold on to them for waiting for uh, an opportunity to send them or I will send them to uh, refugee camps anywhere else uh, for children. So um, just so you know that this is, this is my intention. Um, so like I said, for now, I have about 15 people, individuals, who are willing to contribute by working and creating pages themselves according to the instructions I will give them. The instructions are not difficult. You can use any pattern you like, any yarns you like, any size uh, needle, any size, any thickness of wool. It doesn't matter. You can do knitting, you can do crochet. It doesn't matter. What I want is to stick to the colors because the colors are coded by age and gender and to stick to the size so the pages look kind of uniform and they look like a journal. Somebody asked me why I chose a journal. Um, I chose the form of a journal because it's a way, it's a, a way of keeping record. Uh, journals have always been used to keep a record and to record, commemorate, document, um, except I'm documenting in a different way. The other reason is my personal love for journals and books. And um, the reason I'm using crochet and knitting is because I know there are a lot of crocheters and knitters in the world. And I wanted to reach out to them to help. And also I'm a good crochet and knitter. And this is one of my mom's um, art. My mom was an artist and this was one of her passions. So it's kind of also paying a tribute to my mom who obviously uh, is Palestinian as well, and who passed away in, in, in Spain and who, together with my dad, who also passed away in Spain, Palestinian, and they were both buried in Valencia. So um, they were not able to go back except once as nationals of another country and as tourists. So this, this project has a lot of meaning um, on a personal note and also on a bigger scale. 
and I want to put this as a visual representation, something to have an impact on the viewers. And I will ask visitors also to share their thoughts because I will keep uh, fabric and pens and people can write what they want and pin them with safety pins to the pages of this artwork. I have also, um, I have this idea of including artwork by Palestinians currently in Gaza who are painting, not painting, sorry, drawing or sketching their current daily lives. And I want to add those to the journal as well. I hope that I can do that. Um, so this is the, the, the whole big project that I'm looking for. Collaborators, uh, participants, if somebody wants to share this uh, project, if somebody wants to tell others, if somebody wants to participate, if somebody is skilled at social media and outreach, if you know any influencers who might help and bring bigger numbers. Um, because if we're going to represent 26,000 people the with 200 people per page, we're going to need over 120 pages to make this have the impact and the visual impact to represent the catastrophe that is happening. So any kind of support, any kind of suggestions or ideas are welcome. And thank you to everyone who has already expressed an interest. Thank you very much to Waldorf School in El Puig in Valencia. Thank you to all these beautiful children. I will be sharing updates on my um, page, fadwa.com, under exhibitions, and you will find it under Exhibitions uh, General for Gaza. Um, so reach out here if you want to know more information or if you think you can participate in any way. Thank you very much, uh, Nadia. Thank you. Thank you for looking forward. Yes, thank you. It is a good tool for resistance. Uh, this is, these are the tools that I have right now. I have my words. I have my um, art. And this is what I can do. And if you know anybody who might participate or collaborate or support in any way, let them know. Thank you very much, everyone. And um, thank you. Bye-bye. I can't see how to end it. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm trying to close it and I don't know how to close it.